This video is all about how we created our children's picture book about acquired brain injury. Heads up Tim Tron. Like any story, Tim Tron first began life as an idea. In this case it was from our editorial manager Ian, who drew a sketch and started work on a story. We knew the story needed to include these important points about brain injury. Children often feel tired or fatigued. Children with ABI might struggle to keep up with conversations. They may struggle when they get back to school. Relationships with their siblings may be under strain. Brain injury may seem invisible to other people. But most importantly, we wanted to say that there are some things children and families can do about all of the above. We also knew our book had to be fun for children to read, or they wouldn't be interested in the book at all. So our next job was to find an artist. This is Gary, the award-winning illustrator who brought Tim Tron to life. The first thing Gary did was to create a series of character ideas for Tim Tron. We then showed them to the children here at the Children's Trust to find out which of them were their favourites. Next, Gary created some tiny storyboard drawings called thumbnails to go with Ian's words. These gave everyone a much better idea of how the book would look. When we were all happy with these, Gary created some pencil drawings. At this point, little changes were made to some of the details before Gary then created what's called a colour proof. This helped us see how Tim Tron and his home in Transistor Avenue would look. You can already see in the background that each of the houses in Transistor Avenue is a huge radio. Next, Gary hand-painted the rest of the book and added more detail and definition to the first page. If you look carefully, you can see Tim Tron has changed his shorts. Throughout this process, our designer Claire placed Ian's text over Gary's images and gave the lettering its distinctive feel. Next, we had to send the book to print, and before long we had something called a plotter's proof back from the printer. This was our very last chance to make any changes or to spot any mistakes. Soon after this, we received our first actual advance copy of the book, and it was a really big moment to hold the book we'd worked on in our hands. All we had to do now was to get Mr Richard Hammond to record his voiceover, which he did with gusto, so we could give families a free audiobook version of Heads Up Tim Tron, and they can read along with Richard. One award ceremony later, and the book was ready to send to you. We hope you enjoy it.